In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up multiple buttons with short presses and long presses for each button with modular clean code. So check it out. I got a separate function running for each button. They all have a long press. So as you can see, the short press does a faster beep and flashes faster. And I just have these hooked up to, I think, D3, D4, and D5. The buzzer is just there for the uh, demonstration and the LED is just there for the demonstration as well. So let's jump on a computer now and take a look at the code. Okay, on the computer now, uh, all this code's gonna be on GitHub. I'll have the link down in the description. But uh, let's take a look at this sketch here that I have running real fast on the Nano. Obviously, you don't have to write this out explicitly like I did here. I'm just doing this to demonstrate the code. The usage here, you just instantiate a button, uh, whatever pin it's on. And then in the loop, you want to do this button one setup. And then you want to pass it the function for the short press and the function for the long press. And in the class, that's going to be a callback. But uh, after that, you just want to run button1.update. If you've ever used Easy Button, uh, it has similar functionality to this. And there is a short press and long press uh, code snippet in their documentation. However, if you want to do that for multiple buttons, then you will have to copy and paste code for each button, which starts to get real annoying. And as you can see here, um, we just have functions that execute every time the corresponding button is pressed for the corresponding length of time. And so it keeps things nice and clean when you just have this one class running all the buttons. So uh, you can, you, this here is just here to uh, blink that LED and beep the buzzer. So you don't need this for the code, obviously. I just put it in here for, as an example. Um, I'll include this sketch as well so that you can copy and paste the class if you don't want to install uh, the my button library, um, which I mean, I recommend doing that because it makes it even cleaner because then you can just include the library and delete this whole thing. But uh, just taking a look at a quick look at what the class is doing. It's instantiating an easy button. So this class actually requires you to download easy button. Um, you know, you just go to the library, type in easy button right here. And uh, as you can see, I have 1.0.4 installed. Not sure if they're going to change this much. I think this has probably been 1.0.4 for quite some time. It's a really simple library. Don't really, don't really need to change it, I don't think. But if it ever changes in the future and you use this code and it doesn't work, that's probably why install the older version. But anyway, you come in here. Um, this section here is just uh, for those callbacks for the, functional, for the functions to run once you instantiate each button. Uh, and then you down here in the code, this is for the setup, this is for the update. And uh, in the update here is where it does the short press logic and the long press logic. So as you can see here, there's a pointer to those functions in the logic. And that's how that works. So like I said a second ago, if we were to comment this out, just comment that. If you install the library, you can just do an include. my button dot h because i have this installed in my library just comment that out so if i uh, do a compile real fast as you can see this compiles just fine so this would end up looking like this so this looks even cleaner so the way i did this is obvious this is just like installing any library like a custom library that's not available for download through the IDE. You basically take this folder here and put all of these in your sketch folder. So your sketch folder is located. If you go to Arduino, sketch, show sketch folder. Here we go. So this is the uh, sketch I have open right now. Um, there should be a libraries folder. Here it is. So this is going to be, this could either be empty for you or have a whole bunch of stuff like mine does. Um, but all I did was just install this library here. I just copied this folder right here and 
I'll show you these here. These, this is just a header file for Arduino. It's an outline of the uh, of the class, and then all the functions are in the CPP file. If you understand how this works, but uh, I have an example here, which basically just does the three buttons. So if yeah, if you try this uh, example out, it's basically the same thing as the sketch. I commented out the buzzer stuff. Um, you can add a buzzer if you want to hear a beeps. But you can play with this with just the LED built in. You'll see the LED uh, flash um, one, twice, three times, and then short and longer presses. This is milliseconds, milliseconds. So you can play with all that. So yeah, I, I actually end up using this in pretty much all my sketches when I have uh, more than one button because I like to do short presses and long presses. Like if you're, if you have it at display, it makes adding menus and navigating through menus so much easier. So, uh, yeah, that's just a real quick one going over this class. Um, feel free to download it, play with the code, do whatever you want, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.